What is up everybody and welcome back to the next episode in the bus build. It has been a long time coming, but I'm stoked to get this episode out there. Today, I'm going to show you the long, painful, kind of fun, interesting process that it took to get a new roof on the bus. It's not exactly a new roof on the bus, but you know what I mean. We painted, there's new accessories, hopefully it's waterproof, we'll see this weekend when it rains. But keep watching, find out what we did, and learn from my mistakes. Today is an exciting day because we're finally going to do something that's going to make this bus look better. Painting the roof. I have a big can of Henry's Elastomeric Roofing Paint and what that is going to do is going to paint on a layer on top which is going to harden into a big solid glove essentially. A plastic glove that's going to go over everything. I've gone already and done a layer of uh, flex seal um, seam sealant kind of paint also a rubber based plastic paint and I think the more layers I do on the seams the more water protection I'm gonna have so I did a layer just on the seams so what we're doing right now is really trying to see if I can paint over top of what I did and have it look relatively smooth before we get down into the sides of the bus and the face of the bus and really see some visible areas. Um, so we're gonna see how this Henry's behaves on top of the seam sealer, so then we can go forward from that. So, I made my first big oopsies mistake with some of the bus work and that is on the roof paint. Um, I did some layers of this Henry's elastomeric roof coating on top of the stuff that I had put on the cracks and seams and it didn't stick at all. Which means that it all peeled up like peeling sunburnt skin. It was kind of gross but also satisfying. Evelina helped with peeling all the stuff off the roof, but that took several hours to clean off the mess that we made from the bad paint mixture. Turns out, I went and looked online, and the Flex Seal stuff, it says, cannot be painted by anything, period. You can only paint with itself on top of Flex Seal. So, after learning that, um, we had to choose either get rid of all the Flex Seal and then paint only with Henry's so then we have options to paint on top of or get rid of the Henry's that didn't stick and paint Flex Seal over everything. Um, painting Flex Seal over everything is the more expensive option but based on what I could see as far as how the Flex Seal was adhering to the bus and how, how it was filling the cracks I felt that that was like the most structurally sound option like it really gets in the cracks and fills the seams super well. So we peeled off all the bad Henry's. We left the old Henry's on and did a test patch of the Flex Seal on top of the Henry's to see if that stuck. And that stuck pretty well. So I ordered a big can of Flex Seal and we're gonna put Flex Seal on the whole roof and fill everything. It's gonna be one solid rubberized layer of paint that goes over everything. So if we do it right, there's gonna be no water that comes through the roof, which is exactly what we want. So, we have Evelina up here right now. She's doing some hand brushing on the edge while I get prepped for the rest, and then, oh! <laughs> no! Did not happen. Better clean it up. Did not happen. Didn't happen. I made a mess. I'm a professional. Not. 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 Yeah, so hopefully by the end of today, in the next couple hours, we have the whole roof painted. So by tomorrow, once it's dry, the bus can go back outside without fear of roof leakage. Yes. You're such a nerd. 
You're a nerd. We finished the main big coat on the roof of the bus. I'm gonna do a little bit more on the front and the back and the shoulder edges because you can still see a little bit of yellow through it. But for the most part, the roof is done and it looks very good. It's a very thick layer of rubber now applied to the roof. Uh, I'll show some close-up shots later once we get the next layer on and the tape is off, but look at it. There's a reflection, that's nice. Ooh, look how shiny that is. Oof. I've just spent the last hour or so placing, soldering, and taping up positives and negatives to the ID lights. One, two, three, four, five. I have all the lights on the front. Exciting, it's all wired up, it all works on the switch. Now I'm going through and from the back side, all that sticks through from the outside is a couple little threaded bolts. So I have some tiny little nuts and some little washers that I'm putting on from the inside of the bus. But since I don't want those nuts to ever come off, since it's gonna be hidden underneath everything, insulation, siding, cupboard, whatever, those nuts need to never come off. So I have some thread locker, the heavy duty stuff that I'm putting on the end of the bolt and then threading on my washer and my nut to make sure that that's gonna stay tight even though there's vibrations and movement. So let me show you what that looks like. Here is the back side. That red stuff is a thread locker that those ones got a little juicy. But once I tighten those down, that'll hold pretty well. And the ID lights are attached, they are powered, and they are thread lock sealed up there. Now, we're gonna pull the bus out and it's gonna be outside while it's raining this weekend. And we're gonna see if those holes indeed are waterproof, if the lights themselves are waterproof, and if anything gets inside through the roof. This is gonna be a big test this weekend, um, but I'm very stoked that the roof, for now, is done. Huge win. Those lights are powered off my headlights, so when we go, bah, we get running lights. That is it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. Hit that like button below and subscribe to the channel to show your support and to not miss another video. We'll catch you in the next one. Thanks again. Bye.